Hello and welcome to my home. But this is no ordinary home tour. I'm gonna show you a few really weird little cool details about my home and then I'm gonna come over to your house and we're gonna do the same thing. First, I wanna show you my air filter because it looks like an iPod Nano, but it doesn't play music. It's also really dirty and I need to replace the filter. <laughs> Moving on, I wanted to show you this beautiful painting, which I made, and by that I mean I just put it on a canvas frame, but that was kind of cool. And two, why this is so cool, well, number two is it's bomb bombs. Number three is, look, it's hiding something. Pretty cool, huh? I thought so. We're jumping over to the bathroom where, huh, another one. Let's see what's behind it. Oh yeah, there's nothing behind that one. <laughs> Introducing my life wall. Okay, this one's actually pretty cool. I decided to put up removable wallpaper across this entire wall. And I picked this print because I thought it looked cool, but I also wanted to add into it. So I've been writing things about myself on here, like my values, my mission statement. I've also been putting up Polaroid photos from really cool key moments of my life. And then the coolest thing is I ask all my guests who come over to add one thing to the wall. They could just color it, they could write uh, a signature or a quote or anything that they want. So the hope is by the end of a year or two, I have this really cool collage of my life and the people in it and all the experiences I've had. So moving on. And here is my Polaroid itself. Let me just real quick, okay? Uh-huh, got it. Uh, not much to say here. You see it in all my videos. Uh, cool. Here I have a game controller that I put on a phone stand. That's pretty cool. But that's not why I brought you here. I brought you here to show you this bad boy right here. What? What do you think? I stained, I stained these. Stained these on my own. Okay, moving on. This corner we have some beautiful games that I like to play. Except for this one, it's just a deck of cards. I don't, nobody plays just a normal deck of cards. But over here we have Plague Inc. And you might be wondering, John, why does it say do not play on it? Good observation. Okay, keep this between me and you. Uh, the last time I played this was before the global pandemic started. And it's a game about creating a virus that takes over the world. Uh, I, mm, Actually, just forget I talked about this. This is my computer setup. This is a kitchen countertop for my IKEA that I put a bunch of legs and uh, <laughs> and stuff on. I brought you over here for two other reasons. One, my desktop background is like my vision board destiny chart. I highly recommend like if you're on your computer a lot, put your background is something that inspires you, motivates you, gets you aligned on like what your life mission and purpose is. And number two, I learned it's an iPod shuffle, not an iPod nano. See it? I mean, come on, right? They're pretty, they're pretty similar. Okay, moving on. I forget which one is to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, over here we have Curtains, I know, you're thinking what? Well, I installed these curtains and that's pretty cool, but there's also a little story. Uh, this whole, this old thing on top of it totally fell off um, and a bunch of other stuff fell and there's like a little bit of damage here. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this. Management, if you're watching this right now, I uh, none of that happened. A tree fell. Okay, but for real though, I think too many house tours, like they just show the cool stuff about their houses and all those nice things. I bet they clean and dust. But how about a house tour where we show like the real bits? Like this little molding down here is damaged, but it's still beautiful. It's still lovely. It still has value, just like you. Aren't we all just damaged moldings in a world filled with falling curtains? Whew, let that sink in. Moving on. This is Bobo. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to him. He's uh, the dog around the house. He gets into trouble, does a bunch of cool stuff. You might have seen him in some of my videos. Bobo, any words? 
You heard it here, folks. Moving on. For here, I have a bunch of books, like how to not make investment mistakes, how to be unshakable, how to have your best year ever, how to let go. This might be a cry for help. Maybe I should see my therapist twice this month. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing here. I have this card. I've been trying to ride the Ferris wheel at the Santa Monica Pier for too many times and it hasn't worked out and I just have these tickets so manifesting right now like me gonna I'm gonna be on the Ferris wheel real soon maybe with you okay let's go oh over here as well I have a $15 Target gift card and that reminded me of something come with me come with me over here I have something hidden nobody has this I bet no one I bet no one you know has this are you ready because introducing the triple wreath one, two, three. That's right, you can count to three. I'm proud of you. We both can. What's super cool about this is I entered it into a wreath contest. Yes, a wreath contest. I bet you didn't know that existed. Yep, there was one at my apartment building and I entered it. I had three wreaths on my door. I said, huh, a shoe in how can I lose? And I lost. I got fourth place and I got the $15 gift card. I'm a little salty because the first place got 250 bucks. I had the same amount of reads on my door as the top three winners combined. I'm clearly still getting over this. And now I'm gonna take some time to process it tonight. <laughs> I don't think a house tour should be about like, hey, look at what a fancy couch I have or look at all the stuff I bought. Instead it should be about like, Memories and experiences. So over here, we have the candle from the candle video. That is um, the one that I made. Why did I say that so weird? This is the candle that was made from a broken candle. Um, watch the video, I'll link it or something. It just reminds me of like the really cool, fun adventure I went on with my, my good friend. And I have used it. It is awesome. Hmm, it smells good. And this is a rose. Uh, and a reminder to show love to yourself. Yeah, you're amazing. You're delightful, just like this flower. And so water yourself and give yourself love. All right. My favorite room, that's the kitchen. Why is it my favorite? You already know this. I love eating food. Over here, I have bagels. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? I haven't had a bagel in literally a year and I had one yesterday. I'm not even joking. This is the first time I had a bagel in a year. They're just so delightful. Remember to show love to the little things in your life like a bagel. Okay, moving on. Down here. Actually, let me let's lower our voices. Down here is the stash. You're lucky I'm even letting you see this. You're lucky that I even mentioned the word stash. You're lucky I included this in the final version of the video and didn't edit it out. Actually, you know what, John? Edit this out. Okay, the stash right here. Rice Krispie treats. I have a fitness coach. He tells me I can't eat that much. A lot of chicken and vegetables. Well, he tells me I can eat Rice Krispie treats. So I'm gonna eat Rice Krispie treats. I'm gonna have to clean this up in just a minute. And speaking of my favorite thing, the food in my life, uh, that came out weird. My favorite thing is me, myself, and my relationships, but you get what I'm talking about. The food. This is a rotisserie chicken. This is a jar of jam that I bought on sale for $1. This is an empty container that I'm gonna put grapes in and put it in the freezer because frozen grapes are delicious. Here, I have uh, vegan butter and Polaroid film. Keep your Polaroid film for refrigerated kids because that's what the company says to do. That's probably everything that's interesting in here. No, nothing else is. Ooh, what about this? Oh, I almost forgot. The creme de la creme, the piece de resistance. I just bought this recently and it's changed my life. Oh, waffle maker. I eat these oat pancakes every single day under my crazy fitness plan. And so now I eat oat waffles every single day under my crazy fitness plan. And, it, and I am a lot happier, please trust me. 
I'm a lot happier. This is a dice that I roll to determine if I'm gonna do something or not when I'm kind of on the fence. So evens is yes, odds is no. Should I include this part in the video? Um, should I include this part in the video? Should I include this part? Should I include this part? Moving on. Thus concludes my home tour. The point of this was not to show off all the weird things that I have, but to actually remind you that your home is a place that tells a story about yourself. It shows some of your hobbies, your interests, your self-expression, maybe even a journey of who you've become over time. And so I invite you to look around your home right now. Let's pause, take a look around, and look for just one thing that's kind of interesting that maybe you've taken for granted and Look at it now with a sense of joy and playfulness and appreciation. Try to bring that energy with you as you move throughout your house for the whole day. And what's cool is it doesn't have to be about stuff or things. Like it might be a, a view that you have from your window or the lighting in your house or maybe even just the color of your wall or something like that that brings joy to you and it's something that maybe you've taken for granted over time. And so yeah, so think about what kind of story your home tells about yourself. I think mine says that I eat a lot of Rice Krispie treats and waffles. I don't know what I think about that. Actually, I do. I love it. And thus concludes the home tour. Please, if you could uh, exit this way, just real quick. Yep, out this way. Yeah, and again, if you can be quiet on your way out so you don't disturb the neighbors, and then just send me your address, because we're gonna go over, you know what, actually, let's just do it right now. Tell me where you live, and we're gonna go over and do your house tour for your place. Come on, come on. Oh, hey.